uh, we've uh, covered high school football, we hope, as much as you could possibly imagine. And we have so much set up for the 2021 season uh, each week. Connolly football, Midway football, we'll have on Sikkim 365 Radio. Last year, we had the opportunity to do Connolly football with Shane Anderson as the head coach. He's now at Midway. And Terry Garrick, uh, offensive coordinator, was the interim and now has been promoted as the head coach at Connolly, the cadets. That's official. I heard from Wesley Holt, the superintendent, earlier today as well. And Terry joins us on Sikkim 365 Radio. You have been in this business, Terry. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it 25 years? 23. Going on 23. 23 years. So you would have the opportunity like today. What does it mean to you? Uh, it, 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 I'm blessed. It's, a, it's an awesome opportunity, especially here at Connolly. We have such a great family atmosphere here, and uh, it's, it's just a blessing to be a part of it. Coach, for for you to get the job and there to be continuity for a team that I know you've lost some seniors, obviously, everybody does, but you've got a lot of young players, a lot of talent. How important is that for the team to keep that continuity with someone who knows them and knows the system and they don't have to change anything? Well, I think it's huge, uh, we have great relationships with our kids here, with our teachers in the classroom, our administration, uh, in the community. And those relationships are big with these kids where they don't have to start over. That's the hardest thing. Um, and we got some young ones coming up, and they're going to be okay. But keeping these kids rolling and building off of what Coach Anderson did, uh, that's our whole plan here. I saw where Shane uh, had a comment in uh, in response to the Waco Trib article that that announced your hiring, and uh, he was very complimentary. He said he was thrilled for you, and not sure if you had seen it or not. But being with him the last five years, uh, what what have you learned from him, and what's it like to to know that he, he's as proud of you as he is? Well, uh, one of the, one of the things I mean, and I've been in this been like I said my twenty third year, but Shane he always reiterated loving on the kids, loving on the kids, and taking care of the kids. And we do that here at Conley. We take care of our young men and our young women. And uh, if you don't, then you don't have that family atmosphere. And that's what we want around here. Shane told me in a text earlier today, he thinks you're his hardest working coach he's ever known. What does that mean to you? Uh, that, shoot, that means, that means a ton. Uh, and that's kind of how I grew up in the profession. When I first started, I uh, coached for a guy named Brian Irwin mm-hmm. in Hillsboro, Texas. And Brian's a heck of a ball coach. And, uh, Everybody on our staff, that's what we did. We learned to work, and uh, that's the only way I know how to do it. Terry, uh, I think it's fair to say that now that it's official, uh, that, you know, when Shane left and went to Midway, I know what he wanted, and you know what he wanted, but it wasn't quite that simple. I mean, you had to kind of go through the process, which is also protocol and what Wesley Holt wanted to do, but there was a chance that somebody else could have come in and gotten that job. And you already have some disruption because of the fact Shane's where he is. How much does it mean to you that he believes in you, Superintendent Holt, and it worked out for you? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, Wesley Holt, there's probably not a better stand-up guy around. He's a heck of a man. Uh, And he believes in us. He believes in what we got going on here. And uh, I still have uh, 13 coaches on staff and me that stayed. And so – that's what that's what Coach uh, Mr. Hope wanted. That's what he wanted is to have continuity and uh, keep these relationships that we have with these kids. And so I'm extremely blessed, and I'm so happy uh, Mr. Hope picked me. And he was upfront and honest with me through this whole process. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better man to work for. What's the reaction been from your players, the community, text messages, phone calls at the field house? Well, just to give you an example, I was interviewing a coach yesterday. And within about a three to four minute period, I had almost 30 text messages and 15 phone calls and uh, probably about 10 voicemails <laughs> within about a four minute period. So just, I've heard from I've heard from ex players, ex coaches all around the state that I used to coach or play, uh, coach with. And uh, it has been extremely I mean, they are just blowing me up and telling me congratulations and uh, you deserve this. And uh Hope you do a great job. So it, it, it's been it's been it's been really cool. Is all I can say. So for it being your first head coaching job, obviously that was something that you you, you know dreamed of along the way. But just the amount of the, the long road that you've taken, does it feel like maybe you wanted it earlier, but now you're getting it, and the timing and the place and all of that is just it's all right for you. 
I think it's going to work out great. And I think the timing of this deal and where I'm at at Conley uh, is, is a place that I can make home. Uh, and I don't want to be anywhere else. I mean, I like it here. And like I said, this is a huge family atmosphere here over at Conley. And everybody takes care of each other. So it, it's just a great opportunity. You know, I, I talked to Wesley earlier today. He's thrilled for you. Uh, he was supposed to tr- try to see if he could jump in and also – hear the interview. If he's not, I told him I would send a link as well. Uh, Terry, when you did get the call, when you actually did get the call, or maybe it was a meeting face-to-face with uh, Superintendent Holt, what did you say? I just told him thank you. And uh, I'm going to work my rear off to, to get this done and to keep this thing rolling and to keep these kids our first priority. All right, so I got a question because you have a lot of different players that can make plays for you. Can you find a way the UIL would approve that you could have three different footballs on one specific snap with all the <laughs> – and, and maybe Trey, Trey Weisner has maybe two of those? I, I'm just asking. <laughs> that would be nice if, we, if they let us get away with it. We would sure try it. <laughs> oh that my would God. be awesome. Yeah, it, it would be awesome. What was it like last year with Trey in particular? I, 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 Curious to know this from your perspective as an offensive coordinator. He, in that China Spring game, grew up a lot. In that sometimes with the, when you guys played the better teams, they would focus on him, and it kind of looked like he got in his head a little bit and and, and, and and couldn't figure out that he was Superman. In China Spring, it figured out he figured out he was Superman. What was that like to watch? It, it was exciting. He, Trey, he, Trey's just one of those young men that when he touches the football, everybody holds their breath. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he's a fun one to watch. And he did. He grew up in that game. And uh, we came out that second half, that first half, we were kind of flat. We weren't doing getting it done. And uh, we made a decision. That boy's got to touch the ball. And we got some other ones that can touch the ball too. But yeah. uh, Trey grew up in that game, and it was awesome to see that happen. You know what I thought was – and I, I don't want to go back to just specifically that game as well, but a recovered fumble may have been the <laughs> spark for him. Did you remember that play, Terry? Yeah, I'm, I remember that 100%. That, that might have launched him for the rest of that game, that that gave – and that kind of teaches him a little bit about both sides of the football and also that he can win a game without just his legs. Exactly, exactly. He, he's not a selfish player at all, and he can play both sides of the ball, and he wants to play both sides of the ball. And uh, so that's one of the things that you love about Trey. He don't ask for the ball. He's not afraid to play defense. He loves it. And so when you have kids like that that want to play both sides of the ball and they're a great teammate, they encourage their other teammates, I mean, you got to have kids like that on your team every year to be successful. Terry, congratulations. We're thrilled for you. I can't wait to broadcast your games coming up the 2021 season. We'll be in touch with you about that, Wesley Holt. Obviously, we've I talked to him about that. Good luck. Thank you very much. Glad the transition is very basically seamless. And uh, Shane Anderson uh, gave you a recommendation. I know that means a lot to you as well. So have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. That's uh, Terry Garrick, the promoted offensive coordinator. He's thrilled to death, huh? James Akinjo, thrilled to death. Terry Garrick got his opportunity. 23 years in the coaching business and gets his first head coaching job. He's been at Mejia. Um, he's been at a couple other places, Hillsboro, I think West and Terry Garrick. Now the head coach at Conley, the cadets. Yeah. Well, he could work, uh, walk into a worse situation than having Trey Wisner on the roster. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, him alone and, and there's others too. It's, it's not just the Trey Wisner show, but, uh, last year it was a lot of the KV on Gaither show as well. He's obviously at Sam Houston now, uh, but Conley's going to have talent. And, uh, you know, I think, It'll be really fun to watch Midway this year with, with Shane taking over. Uh, I think he'll kind of reset the, the attitude, and, and they'll come in with kind of a different focus heading into what they know is going to be a meat grinder of, of a schedule. And uh, Connolly gets to have some consistency and, and kind of just not stay where they are, but just get a fresh approach on what's been working for them. So excited for both programs, excited for both coaches, yeah. and – Look forward to watching it. Yeah, you know, and, and it's interesting the the way that coaching hires go. Connolly, based on what they had, they needed consistency. That that's the best choice for them. So if you have somebody on staff like Terry Garrick who can take over and become a head coach and keep that consistency, then that's what you have to do. Midway, uh, they they had a much more open situation in that, like, okay, Jeff Hume's gone. He's a guy who took us to a state championship game. We certainly want to get back there, but you know, the circumstances have changed in the district, and then and. 
things have changed here a little bit. So who can come in here and and give us kind of a different perspective as you move forward? And that and that's what Shane Anderson can do. Yeah. Uh, no. That, and but he has a connection to Midway yeah. because he was there twice with uh, uh, Coach Bechtel and also with Terry Gamble. All right. It, it's uh, 4:42. The